the Supreme Court on Tuesday cut short the union government's value judgment that genitals decided whether a person was a man or a woman, saying there was no absolute concept of a man or an absolute concept of a woman and that gender was far more complex than one's genitals. India and Russia discussed trade deficit during the India-Russia Intergovernmental Commission on Trade, Economic, Scientific, Technological and Cultural Cooperation, IRIGTECT. The meeting on Tuesday was co-chaired by Denis Manchurov, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Trade and Industry from Russia and External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar. Hundreds of prisoners captured during the war in Yemen were reunited with their families between April 14th to 16th amid diplomatic efforts to halt the conflict, the Associated Press reported. The main warring sides in Yemen are the Iran-backed Houthis and the pro-Yemen government, Saudi-led coalition. The warring parties in control of parts of Yemen had signed the Stockholm Agreement in December 2018 whereby they had committed to freeing conflict-related detainees. The agreement brokered by the United Nations had three main components, the Hudya Agreement, the Prisoner Exchange Agreement and the Ties Agreement. The court battle for legal recognition of same-sex marriage began on Tuesday with a brief but intense sparring session between the Supreme Court and the Union Government, which saw Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur sharply reminding the government that we are in charge. India and China have snapped up the vast majority of Russian all so far in April at prices above the Western price cap of $60 per barrel, according to traders' and rotters' calculations. Nagaland is arguably the only state where ULB seats are not reserved for women as mandated by Clause 4 of the 74th Amendment to the Constitution of India. Most of the traditional tribal and urban organizations oppose the 33% reservation of seats for women as they argue that such reservation would violate the special provisions granted by Article 371 of the Constitution to Nagaland.